Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Just Click the Dancing Avon Lady, and today I am doing a review and first impressions video for you on our new launch of the FMG Liquid Eyeshadow. So this is of something I'm gonna throw around, but uh, this is something that we've actually had in the past, and I'll link my video up here for you. But what it is is now we have come up with new shades, which is so exciting. So previously in another video, I did swatch almost all of the different ones for you here. So these were the previous ones, and these are one of definitely one of my top selling uh, eyeshadow products because it is a very wearable and it lasts for a really long time. I love playing around with these. I've used these as line liners. I've used these as eyeshadows. They're just really fun, 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 fun to use. So the fact that we now have some new shades, I am so thrilled about. I have for you today two of the new shades of the Glimmer Shadow, and um, why I decided to get them was because I'm trending into fall and winter, a lot of the beauty makeup trends, it seems to be really about the eyes, the eyes making a statement, and also about that new, uh, that neo neutral. Another trend that we're seeing is that bringing the summer glow into the colder months. So the fact that these are a more neutral shade, I think that is really going to be a really easy way to play up with your makeup look. So thumbs up for that. Super excited. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you do me a favor. If you're new to this channel, please, please, please hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell notification beside it so you never miss a video. Avon's calling this the Satin Supreme, bringing your glow to glam eyeshadow. And there are six new shades of this. Um, the actual title is called FMG Glimmer Shadow Liquid Eyeshadow. It is a buildable, silky cream formula and it's supposed to glide on effortlessly for a soft, subtle sheen that lasts all day. It's water resistant, crease proof, smudge proof, and it also is paraben and phthalate and sulfate free. So you can wear this alone as a neutral eye look or you can use it to add some bold sparkle. You can try pairing the Glimmer Shadow with the Glimmer Kiss Liquid Lipstick for a look that delivers like glamorous shimmer and shine. It's like that cartoon that my daughter watches, Shimmer Shine. The fact that it's called like Velvet Satin, it speaks to like the whole texture of it. So I am really excited about that. They are two milliliters each and they do retail regular for $14. There are six different shades to it. Uh, the two that I have today are, I ordered Jasper and Pink Sapphire. On the Facebook beauty group, I did have a lot of members talk about, you know, the more neutral shades such as like Sunstone and Moonstone. So maybe I should have got one of those. However, However, these are the two that I got, so I'm going to try them out for you. This is my first time opening this up, as I always do, so here we go. So this one here is the pink sapphire. Oh, oh. It looks like it's going to be a very soft, subtle color, which will be very pretty. Pink eyeshadow is something that I'm trying to get more into. Um, and then this next one is the Jasper. Ooh, okay, is more of a burgundy red. They're interesting. I almost want to use this one like a lip for my lips. So it's a silky long wearing liquid shadow that has a unique matte sateen finish for a soft dimensional look. Buildable, blendable color, perfect for everyday wear, water resistant, crease proof, smudge proof, and paraben free. You apply it directly onto your clean skin and blend with an applicator or fingertips. You allow it to dry for optimal re removal. Use an eye makeup remover is recommended. recommended. Okay, so yes, so, uh, somebody did did mention Heather did mention that um, you should use a makeup remover to remove this. I'm still waiting for my uh, my face shop one, but in the meantime, I do have my Avon one that I always use, or use I use like micellar water. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a little swatch for you. So the this is the pink sapphire, which is interesting because I do have a peach sapphire one as well. So it is a doe foot applicator, just like our other ones. Ooh, I love how soft that is. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. There is a little bit of a scent. What does it remind me of? It doesn't smell like it's like an added fragrance type of a scent. It's not unpleasant. It has a very distinctive scent that it's like bringing up a memory for me, but I don't know what it is. Anyways, this one here is the Jasper. Ooh, oh my God, these are beautiful colors. Oh, I love that finish. So I'm going to compare it to you with the, um, 
with the previous the glimmer shadows that we have we've had so you can so you can tell the difference of the different finishes so this one here is the sateen finish but this one here is the glimmer one and so you'll be able to see oh yeah you can definitely tell a huge difference uh, this one here is the peach sapphire. So this is the peach sapphire, but you, what you can see is you can actually see the little specks of glitter and glimmer. You'll get that little bit of a glow, but it's just more of a soft finish. I ridiculously love this. Ridiculously love that one. Wow, it's beautiful. And then I think the closest one to I have of this, this one would probably, intensity level, I think it will be this one which is the smoky quartz definitely it's not like that bordeaux more um burgundy type of a color but at least you can get like the bit of a uh, uh intensity of it but you can see that they're all very pigmented but if you look at the finish of it you can see that with the top one and the bottom one here this is the ones that we previously have they have more of the little flecks of the glitter whereas the um the two in the middle, which are our new ones, is more of a softer finish. So now to try these on my face. Here we go. What I have on my face right now, I did curl my lashes and I have our Love, C Colors of Love Kiss Me Cushion Blush very lightly in Orchid Kiss on my cheeks. And then for my foundation, I have our Kazunite Moy. I have our Cashmere Complexion uh, Macaroon for my concealer. And then my foundation, I have the Compact Powder in N120. And it's, again, very just a very light finish. Eyelashes are curled. Lips are naked, except for some lip balm. Okay. So, yeah, I really love the finish of this. I still can't think of the smell, but you can't smell it anymore. But uh, even after it dries out, you can see that the the finish of it is very nice it has almost like a powdery soft finish to it ignore the nail polish i haven't had time to redo my nails guys so i'm sorry but ignore the nail polish i was hoping to but life gets ahead of me sometimes what i want to do is i'm going to use the pink sapphire as my base and then i'm going to add a little bit of the jasper on the outer corners just to add a little bit of dimension and see where that takes us so i have a couple ways that i like to do it if i'm trying to make it so that it's more of like definitely like to define what I use on my outer corner of my crease I'll put a little bit of my hand and then I'll dab it there but for the first base what I usually do is I just literally just put it on my eyes uh -huh. oh it's such a beautiful soft shade it goes on really easily and I love this color wow I'm just going to pat this in just like this it's a very soft very pretty look on its own yeah it's like I'm just running off for a quick errand or I'm this is a weekend look for me like or actually we can look being honest we can look if I'm not going out I don't do any makeup I just have lip balm or some sort of thing on my lip because lip balm is life oh my gosh look at how soft that that just dries down it's like my lips but better but for your eyes so is it like my eyes but better ah. anyways that's that it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love it. So now I'm going to take this, the Jasper, and what I do is I'll just dab a little bit on my the back of my hand. And then I usually, honestly, I just use my fingertips. You can use your makeup brush if you want. If I'm going to use it as a liner, I'll use um, a, an eyeliner brush, obviously. Here, I just dab on the corner of my eyes like that. And a little bit goes a long way for this. Like a long, long way. Oh my gosh, wow. <gasps> wow, okay. And that's just to kind of blend it out. So I'm now going to just use a fluffy brush. Just blend, 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 blend. I can't get over how soft and pretty this is, guys. It is so soft and pretty, oh my gosh. Wow. And like it dried, it like set down so fast beautiful finish holy it is so pretty oh my goodness wow okay so now i'm just going to finish up my eyes and do my liner so you can get the overall effect of it so i'm grabbing my pomade this is actually a brow pomade but i've been using it as a gel liner for like over a month now. I redonkously love it. And I'm just using an angled liner brush, dipping it in and applying purple liner. And of course, 
finish it off with my favorite mascara. This is the Love of First Lash Mascara. My eyes are done, my friends. For my lips today as a very simple look, I'm just using the VDL Lip Cube in Blooming Pink just to add a little bit of rosy pinkness and because I love this color. Done. Okay. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Look, it even blended out well. I'm not a very good blender of stuff, guys. <laughs> Unless it's food or baby food. But makeup blending, I'm like, yeah, it's so, so. I'm not a makeup artist, guys. I just love playing with makeup. But look at that. Oh my God. Like, holy crud. That is redonkulously gorgeous. It is so beautiful. The finish of it is so nice. So what do you think? Do you think, do you like the eyeshadow, mommy? Mm. Yeah, say hi. If you haven't yet, make sure you check out Ginevra's very first review video on our Bambience on the pink bong toothpaste. Uh-oh. It's the end of the school day. It's been three hours, about three hours or so in, and eyeshadow-wise, oh my goodness, it is lasting so long. There's no creasing, no smudging. It's, like, lasting beautifully. It makes me so happy. So I'm really happy with that. So yay for that. So this is a message from future me. That's it for this video, guys. If you want to see more and see all the six shades and learn more about the new Glimmer Shadow uh, Liquid Eyeshadow, make sure you do click my e-star link down below. And if you're new to this channel, once again, please do me a huge favor. Click that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. If you're interested in becoming a beauty boss, make sure while you're on my e-star, click that join Avon button and I will become your personal mentor. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.